this is just a quick disclaimer my background is like really really loud like so loud it's unacceptable so yeah if you guys don't know i have three siblings and their play date is happening in the living room so they're like really really stinking loud and if you see the outlet over here it is because i like to sit on the floor in the court i do not prefer to sit chair i like to sit on the floor i don't know because i feel like i'm more comfortable so i'm going to talk more i'm going to show you guys like basically me Ooh. i don't know I guess, I guess you can get more of a feel from me because I'm more open and more being myself on the floor. I don't know what it is. It's just the way it is. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a review or a first impressions on the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And it says it's supposed to last 24 hours. It says it's demi matte finish, light air, oil you free, or semi matte. Um. So yeah, this is the foundation, that is the foundation, and yeah, so I don't, sometimes I wear primer, but sometimes I don't, so I'm going to do half prime, half not, if a primer, I'm going to be using the same primer I use most of the time, and it's by Stella, it's the Illuminated Tits and Moisturizer, and they're like extremely loud in my background. I apologize, you guys. I don't live by myself. I'm 17. Still live with all my siblings. I just OD on this primer. I do not need this much primer. So I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between my skin. This is the non non prime side. And this is the prime side. So you can tell it's like really shiny on this side. It's not that shiny. So I'm just gonna shake this up. I'm gonna open it. Put some right here. I mean the consistency is not that bad. I'm just gonna get it some time to set. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and highlight some. See how it functions with powder on, or other products on top of it. Because that's what I'm gonna be using it for. But you know what? I'm not even going to set anything on my face because it's supposed to be a matte thing. So I feel like it should last. So nothing should crease or anything like that. I'm hoping nothing creases. Well, I think under my eyes are going to are going to crease for all. Um, Regardless, but yeah. So, so okay. So this foundation has had enough time to set, and here are my final thoughts on it. So, oh, I'm probably gonna do a separate video on like how long this foundation actually lasts like if the 24 hour part is true but so far the demi matte finish and the light air like so far everything is true i'm not sure about the 24 hour part but the demi um matte finish and the light air control thing light air where do i see control and it is oil 
oil free. I, my skin is not shiny. I mean, the prime side, the prime side is shiny, but the um, the non prime side is like yeah, it's like a demi matte. But overall, I do like this better than my L'Oreal True Match because I don't know. I just feel like my L'Oreal True Match like it's kind of like um, it's oily. Like it's very oily. Like like earlier when I did my face, as soon as I touched it, it was like the makeup was on me. Like this really doesn't transfer. It's like once it's on your face, it's on your face. Like nothing transforms my hair. This would have been my L'Oreal True Match after 10 minutes, even after 10 minutes. If I still would have touched my face, like that foundation transfers like crazy. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to replace my L'Oreal True Match at this point, but like I'll wear this out for about a week and I'll come back and let you guys know how I like it. So, um, stay tuned for my update. But so far, my first impression, it's a thumbs up and they did give me medium coverage. Well, I'm more of a person, I'm like medium to full coverage, but I would say that this is like very notable. Like you can layer this foundation. Um, doesn't feel like anything is on the skin. Overall, I give this video a big thumbs up and good job, Lord. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Here. I'm gonna drink my slushies. Oh, have you guys tried the um, like the candy slushies at um Sonic? These nerd. I get the green apple with the nerds in it all the time. I tried it one time. And now that's like that's the only thing that I get. Yeah. Um, comment down. And tell me which one is your favorite slushie because this is honestly the only one that I have tried with the candy in it. I haven't tried. I don't know what's the other candy that comes in it. The only one that I know of is the nerds. But comment down below and let me know. Which ones y'all like? Cause.